What's up, guys? What's up? We are live from Los Angeles. Yes, we are. So yeah, we're just uh, chilling, sunny California. There you go. Yeah, we are in Graham's garage. So we got the uh, Lotus right behind us there. We got uh, uh, first. We got Andrew uh, Swear already messaging. I can see. So yeah, that's awesome. So yeah, so we just came down, uh, got into LA yesterday. Grant yeah. picked us up at the airport at LAX. Uh, we managed not to get too lost, so that yeah. was good. Yeah, pretty much just want to give you guys like an update of what's been going on uh, and, and a little bit of our journey, I guess, getting yeah. here. Uh, not it, it was a journey. <laughs> not easy. If if you're if you think leaving from the London airport is simple. Uh, simple, it is not anymore. So yeah. <laughs> there's like a hundred people on the London to Toronto. It was crazy. Plane. It was a way bigger plane than it's, we thought, it's right? Usually like. 10 people and you just show up and you're half asleep and you go on the plane and you show up in Toronto at like seven and you get on the next flight at eight. But we were, we had a couple uh So yeah, we started backs. off with some hiccups right off the bat. So uh, actually right now I have, uh, I think four shirts, three pairs of pants, two pairs of socks and one pair of underwear. Mm. So uh, the reason for that was we missed the cutoff for check baggage by like two to three minutes, which was, you know, a little frustrating. Um, yeah. But then what kind of added to the frustration? Well, I guess, first of all, Jeff solved the problem and Ubered my luggage back home. Um, so we just well, sent it with the Uber driver. Seriously, like what I like to do in the world is just like real estate problems, just solve them. Like, yeah. So the lady gave us a problem. She was kind of Air Canada girl. Yeah. Almost mad at us, and I'm like, "Why are you mad at us?" Like, we were extremely okay. calm. Like, like, we're just like, right. so, so there's we, nothing we can so do. You can't bring this bag. No, you can't. Like, what do you? <laughs> and I'm like, "Okay, I'm just asking you. Like, can't bring this plant uh, bag." Yeah. So what do we do? Matt puts a couple shirts in another little bag he had. I just took a grocery bag and shoved it with. A I was saving of you. I was saving that, but <laughs> <laughs> not telling everybody. But okay, I yeah, like grocery it. bag. And uh, I'm traveling with class, and then uh, <laughs> yeah, I just called an Uber to send the. Uh, suitcase home so the actual physical suitcase went home you, yeah we got on the plane uh after all that big lineup they were trying to call our names just to sit on the plane for 45 minutes delayed yeah so like <laughs> we find, like we actually do it we get on the plane we make it in time and then we just sit there yeah which then we thought oh shoot our, our, connected next, our connector in toronto uh is going to be uh challenging we already had a tight timeline yeah. to begin with so we had to run all the way through pearson through to get to the other uh or it was in the same terminal but the international part we had to yeah. go through customs we had to go through uh uh doing like your boarding pass thing and, and filling yeah. out your card quickly and jeff's just like military 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 yeah. and then when military didn't work we're late we're late we're late <laughs> we're just like whatever we can we, to try so and like sorry tell all, all the people that were going to family reunions that we passed you. <laughs> yeah, it was just um, like, we, we were just like, cause we were already a little bit on tilt because of the London experience, yeah. right? And then you get to Toronto, you're really behind. Like our flight was boarding at 7.35 and we got into the airport at like 7.30. Yeah. So we had like five minutes to try and go through like customs, TSA. It's funny, everyone on the plane was kind of talking the same thing. Like yeah. I gotta go to Calgary, I gotta go to this place. I gotta get to Montreal, I get to Ottawa. And we're all like, yeah, we all have a... And we're, we're like, all like <coughs> so, international. Yeah, right, international. Everybody's like, ooh, good luck. <laughs> but so we somehow managed we to like... It. We went through the Nexus line, even though oh, we didn't yeah. have Nexus, <laughs> but they somehow let us go through, so that was awesome. Yeah. And uh, then we finally, like, we, we're literally running through the terminal. Like, yeah. uh, there'll be a video I'm going to be releasing later kind of documenting a bit of it, because it was... Uh, but then, so, like, we finally get on the plane. Yeah get on the plane and we wait for another 20 minutes because it was delayed again that <laughs> plane, two plane delays in a row yeah. where we were like under the gun and like under pressure to try and and then and it was always like the airport ahead like london went let toronto or toronto went Tr let yeah. london take off and then la went let toronto take off so mm -hmm. it, it, it was like okay well whatever yeah <laughs> so we just go with the flow like usual we're on the plane right? Problems or profits, you know, and we talked a lot of business on the plane We went over a lot of our strategies up, upcoming for the end of 17 and getting into 2018 Yeah, we bit. got some really exciting stuff. We're hoping um, to bring to everyone 2018 and just yeah. uh, Figuring out if you guys don't know we already have a Facebook group for the cash flow to go group yeah. um, Which is so far the cash flow to go has only been on my channel But eventually we'll be bringing it to Jeff's channel as well mm -hmm. But so we have different ones for different regions now too in southern Ontario. Yeah, so, so we're starting up little chapters so as of current Today, we have uh, London, Windsor, Sarnia, Kitchener, and the GTA. Yeah. Usually covered by 
somebody we know a to be like expert. the admin yeah. there. And if you guys are in a uh, city that we didn't just say there, then let us know if you want to be that admin guy for that city. So, yeah, and so right now it's just a Facebook group, yeah, but right. we think it's going to become a little We're, bit more. Yeah, then you saw us in Windsor the other day. We would like to be going to Windsor, going to Sarnia, going to Kitchener, doing a little meetup like we always do in London, Ontario, uh, and meeting the investors there. And we just think that's going to grow our little community. And it Absolutely. doesn't have to be Ontario either. Like we'll, we'll set up Calgary, Edmonton, South Carolina mm-hmm. chapters. So let us know. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm really excited by what's kind of going on with the Cash Flow Go. It's also just so much fun doing these YouTube live videos, yeah, they're, honestly. They're like, so slick. Yeah. yeah, we've just been having a lot of fun with it. So then we get to LA and we get picked up by Graham, yeah. who's out doing showings right now. So that's why we're taking the time. We're in his garage. Right at the end of this live, I'll, I'll show you the Quick crash a bit. Tour, yeah. um, and Graham picked us up. Let's see. We, we came back here. We did a little bit of grocery shopping, picked up some supplies. Yeah. And then he pretty much gave us a quick rundown of certain areas of LA real estate wise. Yeah. Fascinating guys. It, London, Ontario people, houses that you would think are 150 to, to 200 mm-hmm. are six to $800,000. Yeah. And then it just goes insane. So yeah, uh, like, yeah, like Graham's in a, in a pretty expensive neighborhood, but you, London, Ontario, you know, might not know. Like, yeah. And so like, honestly, like we went through a, I think it was like West Hollywood, right? Mm-hmm. And that was just cra- and Beverly Hills too, yeah, right? Yeah. And like the, the prices, man. Like we were going through, and it's like three, five million dollar houses. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, that's One a lot of money. Over, and then it's like, and then it's like six, eight million dollars. And you're like, wow, now we're talking a lot of money. Yeah. And eventually you just can't see the houses because there's so many hedges yeah. in front of them. And, and, Graham, and Graham's like, just trust me, that's like a $50 million house behind yeah. those hedges. And you're just like, oh, wow. Yeah, like that. And there was that crazy thing where that one guy had like the private gate, right? Private gate with a facade behind the, the bars, like a painting, just showing average living of like yeah. a Honda. It was just so crazy. And it's to trick you that he's got a 20 car garage behind, according to Graham. So, um, and, some of the questions yeah uh Max- so zach saying uh here in my garage <laughs> jeff's Did a funny you, oh, guy here in my garage yeah but speaking of it in an upcoming video that matt's gonna make we saw later at night we saw ty lopez last night i keep we were just driving by and he's like i think ty lopez lives over here and he was leaving his house and we checked his snaps right after and it was like up to date right at that second when he was getting into his car and he was off to the lakers game and we saw his security and we saw um, him and his friends, some girls, and a guy in, in the car, and it's pretty neat. And then he was at the Lakers game like an hour later. So yeah, the, um, like very first night in LA, it. and we saw stumbled a upon celebrity. Yeah, so, uh, you'll see some of it on my Instagram right now, uh, and I, you know, so and it, yeah, and honestly, like the weird thing is, and I'm probably just strange this way, but I get more excited these days by a YouTube celebrity <laughs> yeah. than I do like a movie star celebrity just because like I actually consume YouTube on a more regular basis yeah. than I do most other media platforms. Yeah. So. so we apologize for creeping on Ty there, but it was pretty cool to see. Yeah, that. it was awesome. Saw all the books in his uh, garage and yeah, everything like that. Yeah, all so the bookcases. On, Graham had a good snap on his Snapchat and you got mm-hmm. a video and I got a long shot. So uh, yeah, hopefully you can put a cool video yeah. together. Yeah, so I think I'm going to have a little parody video knowledge. coming out later so, yeah. and so. we'll try and drop some knowledge. Yeah. yeah. Um, so then that was pretty much, we kind of, we chilled by like Rodeo Drive. We walked oh, around, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Walked which around. was cool. very touristy, very shopping, high-end uh, designer district, very catered to international tourists yeah, that's definitely who what are I felt like. uh, spending their money and then dining right afterwards, mm-hmm. like after they went shopping. And uh, yeah, there was, there wasn't too much to it really. Yeah. Like, you know, it, it just... A handful of blocks, right? Yeah. Like you kind of you build certain things up to be really huge because mm-hmm. you see them in movies and TV and all this stuff. And yeah. then once you see it in real life, it's just really cool to get that different perspective. Yeah. Um, so so far today, we've just been crushing work on our computers. We're just kind of quickly doing the live now. Hopefully, we get it out of this area uh, at one point later tonight. Just yeah. So like we there. got like another six days here in LA. Yeah. We're just here for a week. So if you guys have been to LA and you got suggestions for things we should check out or must sees or must dos. Definitely let us know in the comment section down below because we're open to suggestions. So <laughs> someone's saying, "Are you in Graham's lair?" Yes, we are. We are in Graham's lair. So we'll give you guys maybe a quick tour yeah, of Graham's that's... lair. Okay. Ooh, anybody recognize these? Here in my garage, 
Got my lotus. <laughs> and it's this wall of knowledge. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And so Graham's even been like putting up a bunch of like soundproofing and stuff. Just yeah. to, he's taking it to the next level. Exactly. So yeah, here's the back side of his garage. He's got this nice light here that we can we didn't turn it on for this video, but here's his Lotus. Lotus. It's not an underwater car. Show the sign on his desk. Yeah, the epic shit sign. Or what is it? Too epic shit. There you go. <laughs> and so, um, just a reminder to everybody. So it's going to be, try to get the lighting right here. Um, tomorrow yeah. at 2.30 Pacific, 5.30 Eastern. Eastern, the Cash Flow to Go show on Matt's YouTube channel. Yeah, we'll be live with Graham Stefan and Graham's Lair here in the, in the lair, garage. Answering your real estate questions, agent, investor, anything international you have questions for. You got the Canadian and the American perspective. Yeah, so, and we'll try and drop as much knowledge, knowledge. as we can. My Lotus. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, appreciate it. Bye. Bye.